All right, so here's a quick video on uh, my machine learning experiments. So I wanted to see, in, see if I could predict future nodes based on previously created nodes. So what I've implemented in the node graph uh, editor is that if you select a node and you press shift V, um, it will run TensorFlow in the background and make a prediction based on previously generated data, right? So user behavior data. So all this user behavior data uh, I've collected in a giant text file which holds uh, a thousand uh, hip files. So it describes basically node chains, right? So for example, someone created the box first and then an attribute create, then a block begin, block begin, poly split, block end, block end, and a color. So in this case, it was a box with an attribute create wrapped in a nested for each loop with a poly split and then added a color at the end. Uh, how did I do that? I created a, a PG graph, which generate or grabs all the hip files from disk. Then with this Python top, I extract uh, the data and store it in a text file. I wait for all of those to be completed and then save it out into a single text file, which is the one you see here. Then I uh, trained a TensorFlow model um, with that data so that it can predict future nodes based on, in this case, uh, five previously generated nodes. It has a function as well in the bottom of this script that uh, allows you to feed it um, um, a string like this or a sequence and then it will predict the sixth node, right? So the future node. I've added that into the node graph hooks.py allowing me to call that from uh, within Houdini directly. Uh, so with sub process, I'm able to run a Python 3 uh, process from um, outside of Houdini which I feed all the, the arguments, right? The, num the, the previously generated nodes and the number of uh, predictions I'd like, and then I generate the new nodes. So as you can see here, these are the, uh, the generated predictions based on the, uh, the upward node chains. So for example, for this null, let's see what it, what it predicts that we should create next um, after we've created that null. See, so um, based on previously generated user data, uh, people often create a blast, a null, or a normal after a null that has these upward nodes for it. Currently, the, the model is pretty biased towards the three users that have provided me the hip files. Uh, so the more hip files I would have, the better the predictions, of course, would be.